Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at GIF Studio for the iPhone and iPad. I open up GIF Studio and it brings us into the main menu where we have the options of selecting a movie or we can create a GIF using the square landscape or portrait orientations using some default templates. I'm going to go ahead and select the movie. Now what I can do is tap video and then select from either my camera, my gallery, the iPod gallery, or even importing a video from Dropbox. Now I have a video already in my gallery, so I'll go ahead and select that. And we'll tap on this one and then we'll tap use in the top right hand corner. Now it's going to compress your video and bring it in. And depending upon the size of your video, this could take a little while. So we're going to go ahead and skip forward from the importing process. So now that it's done importing the video, what I can do is select some frames from the video to make my GIF out of. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe through the video here and I'm going to find some frames that I was looking to use. So right here, I'm going to use a few of these frames. So let's go ahead and just tap on them. Notice a blue box highlights around the frame that we're selecting. And all I'm doing is scrolling down and then tapping on the frame that I'd like to use. So now that I've got a few that I've selected, I'll go ahead and tap done. It brings me back out to the main menu. And now I need to choose whether to use square, landscape, or portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and use landscape for this one. And it's imported the slides that I've chosen. Now what I can do is go ahead and add in some emojis. I can add in text. I can even change in some of the color of my text or anything that I want to. But if I just want to use the frames, I'm basically done here. And what I can do now is tap the share button up here in the top right hand corner. It's going to create the GIF and then give me a few different options. So now I have the option of sharing it as a GIF or a video. A GIF will give me a normal GIF file where if I tap on this, it's going to preview it for me. And then I can see that it's just going to go ahead and loop back and forth for me like a regular GIF would. And then I can tap the share button in the top right hand corner and it's going to allow me to share it with AirDrop, any of my favorite iOS apps, as well as saving the image to my camera roll. Now if I tap done and if I were to tap a video file, this is actually going to create a video file of my GIF and it's going to loop about two times. So it's going to play through, it'll give me a loop of two times and then I can go ahead and share it that way. So the share button up here in the top right hand corner is the same basic options. Now let's tap done and let's go ahead and start a new one. I'm just going to go and choose landscape again and now it's added in a blank slide. So here I can choose some colors. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's add an emoji here and then I'll go ahead and tap this plus button in the top right hand corner. It adds in a new slide. On this one let's create another emoji and let's go ahead and change the background color on that one. We'll tap the plus button. Let's on this one. I'll actually add in some text. And now I can even change the font of the text. So we'll come back in there and hit return. So now you see I'm changing all the font of the text. I can choose the color of the background. I can choose the color of the text. And then I can even add in an image on the background for my gallery or camera. So now that I have these three slides, if I were to tap the share button, what it's going to do is create the GIF out of those images that I've used. And notice I have the same share options as I did when I chose to create the video file from using the frames from a video. So this is GIF Studio, available for the iPhone and iPad.